The Indianapolis Colts hit the ground running in free agency, and I think that is going to translate over into the 2023 NFL Draft. I think it's going to make for a very interesting, really, three days there uh, as the Colts will look to select that future franchise quarterback as well as all the things in between, uh, really, to help out uh, that quarterback, which is to be determined. Now, today we are doing a uh, 2023 Indianapolis Colts free agency recap where we just kind of look just to see what has gone so far. So, just to recap, yes, and if you said that you were not thinking about Monsters vs. Aliens during this for just a recap, you were lying to yourself because it is a great movie and it's also a great line because so, just a recap. Yeah. <laughs> so, okay. So today we're talking about the Colts and kind of uh, the things and players that they brought in to start out with. So the additions. So uh, Samson Ebu Cam. I know that's not even close to correct. I apologize. Uh, but coming over from the 49ers, a guy that, you know, is uh, does provide a lot for your defensive line. So he signed a three-year, $24 million deal with the Colts. Uh, last year for San Francisco, we had 36 tackles as well as five sacks and a 69.1 PFF grade. Also Tavon Bryan or Taven Bryan coming over from the Browns. The former journeyman coming from the Jaguars uh, before uh, the former first round pick that is uh, out of Florida. He was a guy that, quite honestly, you were excited about, especially with how he would uh, run stuff and then also get some things done. But he signs a one year, $3.5 million deal here with the Colts. I really like it because between him, DeForest Buckner, this defensive line, just adding dudes, it's going to be a lot of fun. So, uh, but last year for Cleveland, he had 26 tackles, three sacks, and a 60.0 PFF grade. I love the value. I love him coming in, and uh, I'm going to love seeing what he does for this Colts defensive line. And then the man the myth of legend Gardner Minshew who does not go uh he, what was it he hasn't what was the old name he hasn't crapped in weeks because uh you know number two is not an option I love Gardner Minshew so coming over from the Eagles on a one year three and a half million dollar contract uh threw for over uh, 660 yards last year in relief duty for Jalen Hurts uh had three touchdowns and three interceptions 0-2 in those couple of games we won't mention that but overall I do think he's a solid backup quarterback and uh, could be a guy that you know you might want to have as your starter for the first couple of weeks or maybe half of the season as a worst case scenario scenario but you also might want to have your rookie quarterback just get the lumps in early and uh, start learning right away wide receiver Isaiah McKenzie coming over from the Bills who signed a one year $1.1 million contract I was expecting a little more out of, of Isaiah McKenzie both in terms of his role with the Bills and also uh, in terms of his uh, contract that he was going to sign in free agency but overall uh, had 42 catches for 426 yards and four touchdowns you're definitely excited about adding another tool for the quarterback to be determined as well as uh, yes a reliable target McK uh, Isaiah McKenzie who will do some different things for your offense and then getting Matt Gay from the Rams is is huge who signed a four-year 22 and a half million dollar deal uh, only missed two field goals last year and one extra point had a long of 58 the dude is just nails I think he's going to come in and do a fantastic job for the Colts uh who did you lose for as, as far as the losses I mean Matt Ryan I mean last year over 3,000 passing yards 14 touchdowns three interceptions I mean Frank Reich and company it's just the writing was on the wall it's time to move on um Stephon Gilmore getting traded to the Cowboys you know, I think this is a good move for the Colts who kind of shed that cap space, but also uh, a guy that was a leader in their secondary might hurt a little bit. But I think that uh, they're going to go ahead and, and bring some dudes in that can do it uh, and, and do some different things in this draft, especially with where they're at in some of those mid to later rounds. But last year, 66 tackles, a couple of interceptions, and a 79.1 PFF grade. Uh, Bobby O'Creary, again, not even close to how you pronounce it, uh, signed a four-year deal worth $40 million with the New York Giants. Uh, over 150 tackles. Dude was an absolute stud. Also had a 73.3 PFF grade. Uh, kind of was one of those things where, again, uh, you lose a big piece of your defense, but I do think with guys that you brought back, uh, who, which we'll get into in a second, I think you're going to be okay. Uh, Brandon Fasason, uh going to the Raiders, going back home to the Raiders in Las Vegas signed a two-year three and a half million dollar with them uh, last year for the Colts he had 28 tackles six passes defensed as well as a 56.2 PFF grade so I mean yes it's a loss but overall I'm excited for Brandon Fasason I think he's going to do some good things for the Raiders uh, wide receiver Paris Campbell signed a one-year deal uh, worth four million worth 4.7 million uh, dollars with the Giants again 63 catches last year with the Colts for 623 yards and three touchdowns uh, and again I, I do think that it, it will hurt to a degree but at the end of the day uh, I do not mind bringing in some more fresh blood and some guys that can go ahead and catch the football for uh, you know whether it's CJ Stroud or whoever because I do think this quarterback is going to need as much help as possible uh, also the retentions here I started sorry I kind of uh, cut it off here let me see if I can uh, kind of remedy that situation uh, maybe 
There we go, ish. Anyway, so uh, EJ Speed coming back on a two-year $8 million deal is actually a bigger deal than you think. Uh, again, losing Bobby or Kerry there uh, is definitely huge, uh, but having a guy like EJ Speed come back is big. He uh, had 63 tackles and limited action as well as a sack last year for the Colts and a 78.4 PFF grade, so I think it's a fantastic uh, uh, retention there by the Colts. It's going to be a lot of fun to see what he does uh, coming back for Indianapolis. And then also you re-signed wide receiver Ashton Doolin on a, on a two-year $7.2 million dollar deal. I think his role is going to be very much increased with the Colts. Saw some good things from him last year where he caught 15 passes for 207 yards. And yes, there's more moves to come. There's more different things to happen, but this is just a recap, just to show you what's happened so far, what the Colts have done, and I think that there is a lot more left to be done for the Colts, specifically in the draft. Now, there might be pretty much done through free agency. Oh, by the way, if we missed anybody, let us know this video. Uh, as soon as we make our graphics, well, something always changes. So, But let us know if we missed anybody. Let us know what you guys think about the Indianapolis uh, free agency recap so far and make sure you guys give us a like and a follow also remember to give us a listen and sub on itunes and finally if you have anything else you'd like us to cover send us an email at the sports bp at yahoo.com or put in the comment section down below and we would love to cover but let us know what you guys think about our 2023 indianapolis colts free agency recap